I refer to the problem in the next video as coming from section 2.7. Uh, that was a mistake, actually comes from section 3.1. In uh, section 2.7, problem number 35, we're given, again, a velocity function, uh, or a function modeling the velocity of a particle traveling along the x-axis between t equals 0 and time equals uh, t1, which is just some value greater than 0. Now, if we want to evaluate the displacement of uh, the particle from time equals 0 to time equals t1, then we're going to have to do this in you know, a couple different parts because um, you know, t is, or the displacement, the velocity function is going to be negative if t1 is less than 3 and positive if t1 is greater than 3. So we'll have to look at the integral of the absolute value of uh, t plus 2 times t minus 3. So the question is, is this function that assigns um, some time greater than zero to the uh, displacement of the particle from t equals zero to time equals t1, is this function continuous? Well, if you look back um, a couple sections to uh, the section on the fundamental theorem of calculus, see that this theorem, I believe, it was 2.4.3. This said that if, um, if this function uh, if the integrand is, uh, well, Riemann integrable, then the function that, um, the integral function, which is denoted uh, I a b of sub f of x, which is uh, denoted integral, for, integral from a to x of f uh, dt, Well, it says that um, this function is continuous. So I mean, we look at this, this, the integrand absolute value of t plus 2 times t minus 3 is definitely Riemann integrable. In fact, it's um, just can be defined piecewise as a quadratic function. And so it's definitely continuous. Um, so now the next question to ask is, well, is it differentiable um, at, at the point t1 equals 3? Well, that follows directly from the second part of the fundamental theorem, or the first, excuse me, the first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, which says pretty much that if you have something like this, well then the derivative of the integral function is just equal to f evaluated at the point x. So yes, this function is integrable and, or excuse me, is differentiable and its derivative is just equal to the integrand. Uh, 